autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. These are not just words. For millions of families, developmental disabilities are a daily reality. Modern science has brought wondrous new ways to diagnose and treat neurological disorders. For many families, there is new hope. The Civitan International Research Center is at the leading edge of this work. The CIRC was founded at the University of Alabama at Birmingham through a commitment from Civitan International, a volunteer organization dedicated to helping those with developmental disabilities. The center is a hub of cutting-edge research into illnesses of the human brain, from developmental disabilities such as autism to other disorders such as brain cancer and epilepsy. Center Director Dr. Harold Sontheimer gives an inside look at the CIRC and its partner facility, the Civitan Sparks Clinics. Welcome Civitans in the United States and around the world. Once a year I have the great privilege to present to you the many accomplishments of the Research Center and its scientists. Our Medical Director Dr. Alan Percy received a five-year award from the National Institutes of Health to lead an effort together with 19 other institutions to study rare childhood diseases, diseases such as Angelman syndrome, Fragile X, Rett syndrome. Rett syndrome is a neurological disorder affecting thousands of children, primarily young girls. Infants develop normally at first, but at 6 to 18 months, they begin to lose their motor skills. They have difficulty speaking or walking and develop symptoms associated with autism or cerebral palsy. Children with Rett syndrome will need physical assistance for their entire lives. Dr. Alan Percy is one of the world's foremost authorities on Rett syndrome and has dedicated years of his life to studying this illness. He is on the road nearly every week visiting patients with this and other rare childhood diseases. There is currently no cure for Rett syndrome, but the Civitan International Research Center is giving us new hope. Scientists like Dr. Lucas Pozo Miller are investigating promising treatments at the microscopic level. With natural proteins already found in the brain, they may be able to repair brain cells damaged by Rett syndrome and reverse its effects. This research is a bold step toward treating, repairing, and someday even curing this devastating illness. The dream of real medical treatment is being built into reality. Treatment was once impossible for children diagnosed with autism as well. For these boys and girls, social interaction can be challenging, frightening, or even impossible. They're often isolated, and even physical contact can be traumatic. Now, through behavioral intervention therapy, young children with autism can learn to interact with others, communicate, and build crucial life skills. Therapists can help children minimize or even overcome many of the harmful symptoms of autism. At the CIRC, Heather Wadsworth is working with Dr. Rajesh Khanna on a study to further improve these therapy programs and tailor them to each child's specific needs. We have a, a study going on where we're looking at children between the ages of 10 and 15, both um, individuals that are typically developing as well as individuals with autism, and we're having them go into the scanner and perform a series of tasks. And these tasks that they do in the scanner are involved um, in kind of picking apart the different abilities that are involved with imitation. You know, young children learn a lot of their social skills through imitating others when they're young. And so what we want to do is to develop a more targeted imitation skill program. So if we can look at the specific skills that are involved and which skills are impaired and which skills are not impaired, then we can target the intervention program specifically to the skills that are impaired. Whenever you are dealing with a complex disorder like autism, the most important aspect is how research can help in providing therapies or you know, how research applies to the normal um, social setting. Actually. At the end of the day, the focus is on how can we improve the lives of people with autism. For many families with developmental disabilities, it's an uphill battle to find the medical care their children need. Parents can spend weeks traveling between physicians, counselors, and social workers. Fortunately, the Civitan Sparks Clinics are changing that. Physicians here give diagnosis, counseling, and treatment to thousands of children with developmental disabilities each year. 
Doctors and medical students also travel to Civitan Sparks for professional training in this field. They then take that knowledge back to their own communities. One such training program is the innovative Acquire C Therapy. This treatment was actually developed at Civitan Sparks by Stephanie DeLuca to treat children with hemiplegia. Children with hemiplegia have limited or complete paralysis on one side of the body. They cannot fully use their affected arm or leg and can't perform many of the activities most children take for granted. Something as simple as playing with blocks can be a frustrating, painful struggle. In Acquire C Therapy, children are guided through exercises to help their brains adapt and learn to use their once paralyzed limbs. Many of these children can now dress themselves, use a coloring book, play ball, even play with a puzzle for the first time. Dr. DeLuca and her team now manage a training program for other physicians, so children around the world can receive this life-changing therapy. These are just a few of the programs going on at the Civitan International Research Center and Civitan Sparks Clinics. Scientists and physicians here are hard at work building a better tomorrow for everyone affected by developmental disabilities. Researchers like Dr. Farah Lubin, whose team is studying memory loss brought on by epilepsy. Dr. Candace Floyd, who is developing a groundbreaking new treatment for spinal cord injuries. Doctors Maria Hopkins and Fred Biasini, whose Space A program is helping children overcome the cognitive deficits associated with autism. The CIRC and Civitan Sparks Clinics depend on charitable donations to continue their amazing work. Fundraising by Civitan International is a major source of that financial support. Civitans, Campus Civitans, and Junior Civitans raise money to help fund this amazing research. By joining a Civitan Club or donating to a Civitan fundraiser for these centers, you score a victory for this amazing cause. Every experiment conducted, every treatment tested, every child who gets the medical care they deserve is a victory for all of us. At the Research Center, many scientists are working tirelessly towards knowledge, diagnosis, treatment, and even cures for developmental disabilities. Remember, Together, we can and will make a difference 